the video we're about to do is something I've wanted to do for a while because it's just a little bit of fun. Uh, we're going to look at an unusual portion of the knife market. So let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. All right, guys. Now, we've talked about on the channel before. We've talked about this several times. Companies will make a mini version of an already popular knife because sometimes the larger version is just too much. But every once in a while, companies take it a step further and take their existing knives and turn them into what are called micro knives. Now, micro knives are not a new thing. Keychain knives, tiny knives have been around for a while. However, there have been a lot of new ones that came out that are really good. And it definitely started with the Reich knife, Reich knife Hummingbird, at least for the guys at Farron Forge Knife Works, it did because I was there when this all became a thing. So micro knives are just tiny, tiny knives. And you can see these are keychain knives. This thing in its closed position is two inches. Open, it is under four. It is about three and three quarters. These are tiny, but these are fully functional knives. I've actually sharpened this one for my buddy Tino. So this is the micro version of the Ferrum Forge Fortis. You can see they're identical. Some minor, minor differences. There's a keychain loop on it here, and this is a milled pattern, but they're almost the same. Now, Reich Knife really started this off with this hummingbird because the hummingbird was the, the world's smallest fully functional flipping knife. It has everything that their larger knives have. There is a bigger version of this, as a matter of fact. Um, but the machining and everything that was done on it, this is in damas steel. This still, all of these run on bearings to have a bearing race that is that tiny. They're not just stamped construction. They have actual removable hardware, tiny, tiny removable hardware. As you can see, actually, this one on the Ferrum Forge is a little bit bigger, but these are incredible because they show some really, really insane machining abilities. This one's done in Nitro V. This one is, I believe, also in Nitro V. So they're using quality. These are titanium handles, titanium on this one as well. And it was just a cool thing that came about, and they're still really awesome. This is my Hummingbird. I borrowed both of these from my buddy Tino. And I found them incredibly cool when they first started coming out. The action on these is incredibly good for such a small, small knife. Now, are they limited in use? Yes, absolutely. These are simply just something that's out there. And I'll tell you, having talked with the folks from Reich about the time these came out, I was trying to do a collaboration with them. It just never worked out. Nothing against them. But they specifically said that this was something that they wanted to do to showcase their abilities to do things. Because making a knife already is a complex process. When you do something in miniature, the difficulties that arise in being able to scale down something, like to take this knife that was a full-size knife and scale it down to this, it makes it exponentially more difficult. And they put a lot of work into machining these and doing that. And these were some of the most intricate knives that you wanted to see. I mean, they still are super, super intricate. Now I've had these, I've had this one apart and the bearing race in it is tiny. This is still a fully functional knife though, guys. All the stuff that you see, detent ball, everything's there. To be able to do that, and then they did it, they did all of these in quality, quality materials. It's a little bit unique. We just did the video about monster knives, and I was like, why not do this? I can't believe how popular these got for a little while. These are almost like models, in my opinion. They are very, very model-esque. They these, This is something that if I owned multiple of these, I'd have like a display case of these. Uh, like miniatures, like, like, like some people do the hand-painted uh, Warhammer stuff. I would have a display case with a bunch of these just all in it. And Reich, to their, you know, it's talk about them. They provided you with carry options instead of it having, because it does have a fully functional pocket clip, but this is a neck, Kydex neck uh, sheath with a very well done chain. This whole thing came as a package. Now, the problem with these, 
arises in the fact you can't use these for much anything. These things are really cool and they're just kind of a show off thing, but there's not a, a lot of things you're going to do with these, which is why these are relatively pristine. These never got used. Uh, Tino never really carried these. We, he and I worked on this one and did the anodizing on this to get it to the color that he wanted but they just really aren't a functional tool. They are just something to have that's cool, like a novelty collectible. And us guys in the knife industry, we love stuff like that. I mean, in comparison, I want you to compare size on even the smaller knife that has its own small version. This is the Stinger. Um, basically, this, this is exactly the same knife. Look at how small that is and tell me that you're absolutely going to be able to use it. You can't. But for cool factor, these are awesome. And I just thought it would be cool to look at them. Now, I don't know how, I don't know if these are still available, the Ferrum Forge, uh, the Micro Fortis and the Micro Stinger, but I do know, I, I'm pretty sure you can still get these from Rake. So if these are things you're interested in, I'm sure you can find these places. Um, they are absolutely an awesome little thing. If you have somebody that you just want to get a niche gift for, I don't, I don't have any uh, affiliate links for any of these. If these are available on Fair and Forge, you can use my coupon code crazy sharp, all lowercase, uh, and it'll save you 10%, but I don't make anything on the purchase of these. So, but I just thought it would be kind of cool to look at them. Like that is exactly, it's just a tiny scaled down version of this knife, even down to the jimping. Look at that. So at any rate, guys, that's it on this one. Let's turn around send, to do some final thoughts to send you out about your day. Are they, uh, I think they are just for the cool factor. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and do them final there thoughts. Go, guys. Just a little fun novelty. I absolutely love these things. They are absolutely a lot of fun. They're unique. They're interesting. And it's one of those things that like every once in a while, there's something that you just want to get someone that you know that they're just never going to use, but they're going to enjoy it. So with that being said, if you want to support the channel, guys, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. But the best way is just to give the video a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, drop a comment, share these videos with people you think would enjoy them. I, I can't figure out why I can't get likes. Uh, people watch them. They don't dislike, but they also aren't liking. So it's free. That's the free thing. The rest of the stuff, there's sponsors down below. Coffee Brain Coffee, Tempered Trail have discounts built into their sponsor links. 10% off. Coffee Brand Coffee, some of the best coffee, one of the best companies to work with. And it's a guilt-free purchase. No politics and money back guarantee. I have a coupon code that saves you 40% at Beyond EDC, 10% at Rosecraft Blades, 10% at Fair and Forge Knifeworks, if they still have these available, and 10% at Katsu Knives. And that coupon code is crazy sharp, all one word. And I also have got links down below to almost all the major knife vendors and an Amazon store. So any shopping you do, whether it be knife or just stuff you get on Amazon, Take those links, pin them to your browser, use it for all that shopping. It supports the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. I've got a public Discord down below. Please join the Discord, guys. Like, it's the best way to get a dialogue going in this community, and it's free. I also have got a paid membership where I have a sharpening tutorial series for the premium guys. I do giveaways, exclusive content, and there's a private Discord there. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you in the next video.